This movie will discuss safely putting your patient into the prone position. Here we've set up the operating table with the arm boards facing up towards anesthesia. We've removed an arm board to accommodate for the stretcher. This is the gel face rest, which will be used to support the patient's face. We've covered it with a PK pad. This positioning device is called the Wilson frame and is typically used in neurosurgery. We've covered the bars with white draw sheets to protect them and keep it clean, as well as making sure here that that gray foam piece is covering the metal bar that sits up at the patient's chest. Down below here, we always make sure our table has egg crates on it to support the patient's knees and pillows for the shins. This is the same table setup if you were positioning your patient prone in general surgery, only you would be using bolsters instead of the Wilson frame. Here the team is getting the patient ready. They're lining up the stretcher with the OR table. The stretcher always goes in the highest position possible and the OR table should be in the lowest position. The patient's gown should be untied but remain covering the patient until you're ready to flip. To flip a patient safely, you always need one person at the head, which is typically your anesthetist, two people to help catch always, and they must keep their arms outright and never pull them away, one person for the feet, and one to two people to push, depending on the size of the patient. You always flip on anesthesia's count, working as a team. Here you protect the arm. The person who is flipping should be careful to support that patient's arm at their side and they can use the draw sheet to secure it. If that patient's arm flips forward on the flip, um, it's really hard to recover it and it can cause an injury. So here they're putting the arm board on the table and making sure that arm is rotated nicely to support it. Working at the top of the head down to the feet, the anesthetist is securing the ET tube to their ventilator. The patient's also getting a little massage in the interim. We make sure and uh, check if the axilla needs egg crates between it. Sometimes it does. We're checking the patient's breasts there, make sure that they are aimed, the nipples are aimed downwards. Uh, if it was a male patient, you would ensure that the genitals are free and not pinched. Make sure that your patient's knees are not floating and that they are secure on the egg crates and that the shins are supported with pillows. Sometimes we put egg crates between the patient's ankles as well. Now the team is getting ready to flip their patient back supine onto the stretcher. So again, working as a team, lining up the stretcher and the OR table, protecting that patient's arm at their side. Catcher always has their arms outright and always on anesthesia's count. Here we go, Dr. Vic. One, two, three. Okay, come on now. There we go. Good job, team. Our patient is safely supine again. We've covered her up with a blanket. There we go. Thanks everyone for participating in this.